telling me that this is the statue of San Isidoro, and this is um, an area of farmers, and he's the patron saint of farmers, and the legend is that instead of plowing his field, he wanted to go to Mass, invece di zappare la terra, voleva andare a pregare alla Messa, and when he returned, his fields were plowed. And look at the beautiful oxen here. I remember when we moved to Umbria, our neighbors plowing with these massive Kenina oxen. And the Angelo. And the, ah, the angel was plowing the fields for San Isidoro, who was in prayer. And thus he returned and all his fields were plowed. And this was made in 1924. And behind San Isidoro, c'è la fresco, and we and have the crucifixion in this fresco here. And we have the Virgin and the Magdalene, la Vergine e la Maddalena, no? Questa, questa avrebbe tanto bisogno del restauro, però. Uh, she says we need to have this restored. Però non ci sono i soldi. We need the money to restore it. And over here we have La Madonna della Misericordia. Let's go see over here this fresco. This is another fresco needing restoration. Ah, si. Si, la Madonna della Misericordia. And how do we know that's her? Because she's holding open her cape to take into protection all the citizens. Badly needing restoration, but how many beautiful works of art in Italy need restoration? Almeno questo è restaurato, vero? Si, questo si. Questo è stato restaurato 12 anni fa, 13. Anna says this was restored 12 or 13 years ago. So, so this splendor has been restored, thankfully. Come and see it. Canonica, not far from Orvieto. How many hidden treasures in this extraordinary country of Italy?